So here we go, entering the uh, sci-fi exhibition at the Heritage Motor Centre. And straight away with uh, uh, some clothing from Terminator. Arnie's leather jacket. And a bit of Star Trek. Do, 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 do. But none from the latest Star Trek film. Which is, well, brilliant. Of course, Gollum. It's my precious. And of course, Dobby from Harry Potter, no less. And here's a cardboard cutout of the wizard himself. Complete with wands and even a golden snitch. Oh, bloody hell, Harry! But then, on to Terminator. And one of the heads. Can't say I recognise that one, but hey. And even Arnie himself. And why not? Moving on to one of the cult TV shows of the 70s, Battlestar Galactica, which has been recently remade. Out to Starbuck and Apollo. Used to love it. Great fun. And some memorabilia from that show. Especially used to like it when they used to launch the Viper fighters out of the uh, launch tubes. Fantastic. And of course, Ewoks, a speeder bike. And the thing that got me is, what is that Stormtrooper thinking? As he stood there holding his pistol and looking at an Ewok. <laughs> Probably dinner. And of course, here's me on a night out. Well, not really, it's Jab of the Hook, but what the hell. Uh, plenty from the uh, Return of the Jedi there. Uh, Princess Leia's costume, and of course, Han Solo, frozen in carbonite. <laughs> Salacious crumb. Yeah, Victor Von Doom, but not from the films. And same with Iron Man, but not... Not from the modern films, more from the cartoon comics, I think. But I'm not so upon those things, only the modern films. And of course, a series of droids from the Star Wars pair of trilogies R2 and 3PO, of course. And a couple of Jowers. And me falling over in. Uh, best uh, Jeremy Beadle fashion and that poor stormtrooper's head in that bucket oh sorry stormtrooper helmet somebody should have fed him uh, a good array of helmets and things from the some of these I reckon must have been from the original film as they were actually signed by the actors uh, especially that one uh, that played the Red Squadron was, uh, Luke was Red 5 Red 5 standing by. Big swear, just let's close it up. We're going in, we're going in full throttle. That'll keep those fighters on our backs. And this model was fantastic. These tiny little X Wings. Great. Sort of tr the trench scene. Brilliant. Though in that little hole at the bottom, there's all these little people. And one or two didn't have helmets on, so, you know. And the door's open, you know. The vacuum of space. Okay, there'd be shield generators. And of course the heroes of Star Wars, Return of the Jedi and Empire Strikes Back. Mmm, Yoda it is! <laughs> and a few more heroes. And the villains of the piece. Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader. Darth Maul and the Emperor looking rather jovial. And of course some of the weaponry from, mainly from Star Wars. Lightsabers, and I'm sure you can name one or two of those who, whose sabers they actually were. One or two of the pistols, and of course the Seeker from the uh, original Star Wars film, A New Hope. More views of the lightsabers. For a bit of a sci-fi geek, it's uh, it was great fun to get there, to actually see some of this stuff, you know, up close and personal. 
And why not? And the Emperor's even smiling for the camera. Isn't that grand? Bloody politicians. Predator. Quite an interesting film, Predator. And of course, Alien. In space, no one can hear you fart. And finally, a Dalek from Doctor Who. With no settee to hide behind. Ah! All in all, a great little exhibition. And well worth a visit.